I am Jacques Slade, and these are your top stories of the day from Adidas with Pusha T, the Nike Basketball Christmas Collection, and Nike SB set the SB free. This is Today in Sneaks. If you're into the Nike SB and the Nike Free, you are in luck as Nike Skateboarding is bringing the two together with the Nike SB Free. The silhouette doesn't look to have the full Nike Free outsole, but instead it has a segmented section in the forefoot to allow for more natural movement of the foot. Now Nike says this enables better board feel, grip, and balance, and Sean Malto actually put the shoe to the test and said, the feel coming to me from my feet on the board and in space during the trick are super enhanced with the Nike SB Free. Nike is staggering the release of the Nike SB Free making it available on the Nike SB app on December 24th, on Nike.com on December 25th, and at Nike stores and SB retailers on December 26th in both the black and the white colorway. Adidas Originals continues their string of artist endorsed sneakers and today officially announced their collaboration with Pusha T on the Adidas EQT Running Guidance 93. Pusha added some nice details to this silhouette like the crack leather, there's the uh, fish scale detailing, the gum sole, and the measuring line on the sole, all of which speak to like the street demeanor he portrays in his raps and as well in his real life. When asked why he chose the EQT Runner, Pusha said he wanted something that would complement an entire outfit. Now the Pusha T Adidas EQT Running Guidance Guidance 93 will arrive at retailers on December 23rd for $200. Christmas Day is just a few weeks away and Nike Basketball is getting you ready with a look at the kicks that Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James will be wearing on court on Christmas Day. For Kobe, the Kobe 9 gets a knitted sock treatment which works for the fly knit on the shoe. For Kevin Durant, the KD7 gets infused with his favorite holiday drink, eggnog. And for LeBron, Nike takes inspiration from the winters in Akron, Ohio and the birch tree. All three pairs will actually go on sale the day after Christmas, which is also known as December 26th. The Kobe 9 will cost you $225, the KD7 will cost you $170, and the LeBron 12 will cost you $220. As for the question of the video, I wanted to know if you buy seasonal releases like the Nike Basketball Christmas Collection, and if you do, do you actually wear those shoes year around? Let me know your thoughts right down in the comments. As for what I'm rocking today, it is a shoe that's actually pretty old. It is this shoe. This is uh, the HyperDunk uh, 2012. Wait, 2011. 2012. I don't know. I don't remember. I think it's 2000. Yeah. This is the HyperDunk 2012. It's the one that had the, uh, the Nike Plus on the inside where you can put the Nike Plus uh, pods on the inside. Uh, yeah, just randomly pulled it out the closet today because I hadn't worn it in a while. So yeah, so I'm rocking today. HyperDunk. Uh, anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening. Oh, by the way, this is a Puerto Rico colorway. Uh, again, if, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here. Actually, and before I get there, uh, check out yesterday. I did a video late last night on Kendrick Lamar partnering with Reba and really what I think that means and a lot of different people like Sneds by Re, uh, John Gotti from the smoking section and a couple of other people actually commented on the video and you can see their comments within the video. So make sure you check that out. Um, all right, subscribe, like, favorite, all of that good stuff. Uh, this is Today of Sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Some stuff to cover. Stuff like Custom J's, Crazy Fast Internet, Lil Wayne, some Kobe 9 EXTs, and why it sucks to be on Dish. I am Jacques Slade, and this is In Case You Missed It. This is gonna be the best theme song.